What's up, fuckers? It's Yolani, otherwise known as Nerdiversal, back with another video. Hello, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. So, today I am recording in my closet because I was told by a good friend that it would improve my audio quality. So if anything changes, and in a good way and or a bad way, please let me know. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to make my recordings more clearly and kind of more easy to understand. So, today, for this video, I'm going to be recording a comic speed paint that I'm doing, and I am so excited to show you guys this because this has been a story that's been in production for four years now. And when I say production, I kind of mean that I was just thinking about it and not really writing it down for four years, but I was putting a lot of details together in my head, messaging all my friends about it, much to their, you know, like, fucking annoyance. They were like, did that, this fucking dumb bitch, just go fucking write your story, damn. But, um, I'm just kidding, by the way, they, they were actually really, um, supportive. But, um, I'm finally putting this together. So, you guys are probably expecting, like, a Halloween speed paint or something. So, that is gonna come, that's gonna come within two days. I need to write another creepypasta and then record it, which I'm actually super excited about because last time was so fun. So, you know, let me put one of those out again. But for today's topic, I actually wanted to talk about something that I kind of discovered on my own, which was the fact that comics do start a certain way, especially the type of comic that I'm trying to write. It's an um, action comic. has um, It's not really slice of life. It's not really romance. It's supposed to be sort of closer to an action comic. And so I didn't really know how to start my action comic. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today is how to start your action comic and keep in mind the advice that i'm going to give today is probably going to sound super amateur for people who have done this for a very long time but if you're like me and you're just getting started then this might help you it's a uh, it's some information sharing you know you might um you might use this one of these days so i was thinking about all the ways that the um that the action comics that i know start their stories and i'm thinking like uh, erased isn't really an action comic but it sort of fits the theme that i was trying to write but um i was thinking of erased i was thinking of full metal alchemist i was thinking of degray man and for those of you who don't know degray man degray man starts off where he's actually fighting a demon he gets arrested he fights a demon and then after that he goes to the black order and it sort of starts to describe everything around the Black Order, and that's going to be the place that he stays for the majority of the story. Um, so, one of the biggest points that I drew from that was the fact that it started off with a very climactic moment that sort of showed off Alan's personality, in that he showed off um, his skills, he showed off how he treats others with his skills, and then it gets into world building where it starts to just describe everything around you just to sort of set the pace for the rest of the story. And that's something that I tried to do with my story where I wanted to start it with sort of a climactic moment. So what you see here is Kalia, um, her, her brother Hani. Her brother Hani is getting pushed around by somebody who's yet to be revealed. Oh, and that's another fun thing I'm ex actually excited about. I can't say anything about my stories anymore because it does become spoilers. But um, so he's getting, he's getting pushed around by somebody and Kalia steps in and she's talking about how she used to be brave. And that, that starts with a climactic moment that sort of starts to show off her ideals. And another one that does that was Full Metal Alchemist, where it starts off where they're trying to bring, uh, bring their mom back, and the mom comes back all yucky and dead. So, um, that, and then that one right there, that shows their personalities by kind of saying like, oh, um, they cared so much about bringing their mom back and bringing back somebody that was close to them that they put all this effort into learning alchemy and ended up fucking losing their legs and fucking body and shit. But, you know, you get my point. Um, and then the other one that I was thinking about was um, Erased, where his mom dies. Actually, that wasn't even the biggest climactic moment. The biggest climactic moment that it starts with is, um, is when he stops that truck driver after realizing that he's uh, asleep or dead. I can't remember which one it was. But he stops that, and then he starts talking about how his power works and how uh, he uses it and then he gets he goes into being a child and then it starts describing how he was when he was a kid and how he treated other people and how he really wanted to save that one girl so now he's gonna go save her so those were those were really important details that it starts off with the climactic moment and then it gets into the world building so if you were to do that you would probably put your characters in a setting where you have them do something big like let's say let's say it's an action one like mine but it's like full action you know like 
people beating the shit out of other people and like you know being like i have all these powers uh laser blast hit and then they fuck somebody up but um you would probably start off with that character having a fight and being like i'm fighting you for this reason so let's throw down and then person either gets beat up or wins the fight all depending on how you want to present the character do you want to present them as strong do you want to present them as weak so those are really important pieces and that's i think how you would begin a comic of that caliber for maybe a slice of life you would probably just start off with simple things which is how i was sort of trying to start mine even though mine wasn't a slice of life it was supposed to be action but i was trying to start it all the wrong way which is kind of why i researched this but um if you were gonna do a slice of life it'd probably just be simple stuff as for other genres i think you can kind of figure that out you just kind of like you look at what's around you what other people have started with and you'll you'll start to notice a trend on how people start their comic books and and their stories and stuff and that even goes for american comics and stuff i'm not even just talking about um japanese comics because like movies can start like that shows can start like that mangas can start like that comics can start like that it all just it depends on the direction you want your story to go also an important thing that i wanted to point out was um that i'm using metabang and metabang has a lot of these helpful tools also i'm not sponsored i'm just trying to give you guys information um but they offer this thing where you can make comics and it sets up the pages for you and it um it gives you a cover page and it keeps everything in line and then it gives that shading thing that you can use with it but um that was really helpful and it actually comes out a lot better on paper it might look yucky on the computer but i printed it out and it looks really good it looks like manga quality but i hope you guys enjoyed this speed paint thank you guys for watching thank you guys for listening to me ramble and if you guys want to see more like this or you guys want me to draw something leave it down in the comment section below bye guys